Hey y'all, welcome to another Thrifty Thursday. Now I know you noticed that we did not have Thrifty Thursday last week. And that's because last week was just a train wreck. It was just emotional for, you know, the reasons. And I had technical difficulties. I had two videos I wanted to get up that did not make it. So I'm just like, scrapped it. I'm like, you know what? Next week there's another Thursday in that one. So here we are. I'm changed it since it is the holiday season and there you got Christmas parties to go to or Christmas brunches or you know appetizer parties that you're hosting whatever I thought I would give you uh, an appetizer and it's not sweet because a lot of people they tend to go towards the sweet and so it's nice to have a something savory in your rep repertoire <laughs> so I had told you um, you're fixing to hear it again so just you know um, I came up with these. I made these back in, I'm almost positive the 90s when we still lived in the trailer. The two bedroom trailer that was me and David and then the kids had to share one because that's where we lived when I had Holly. And then mama lived in this house by herself and it was just too big for her to take care of. So we bought it from her and she just took up the, um, mobile home. So that's how we ended up buying mama's house. And, um, but I made them for something, some kind of get together. And my brother fell in love with these things. He loves these things. And you serve them with some salsa. And they're very good. They're very good. So it's a two day process. You go ahead and make them today, roll them up the day before that you want to use them. And then the next day you just slice them, put them on your tray, put you some salsa, boom. The, the hardest thing is rolling them and that's not even hard. It, it's just the most time consuming thing and it's not, it's not even time consuming. So it's, it's, um, it's not just thrifty as in, I think it's thrifty. It doesn't use, um, expensive strange ingredients or anything like that. It's just common everyday ingredients. Plus it's easy and simple and you're not pushed to make it from start to finish and then gotta figure out what you're gonna do with it. So see, like right now, I don't have a big platter of pinwheels in my refrigerator waiting to serve to a party tomorrow. I have little rolls taking one little spot in my fridge that say if tomorrow was my party, then before my party I take them out, I slice them up, I put them on the tray I'm done. So that's what we're doing today. We're doing tortilla pinwheels. Now, let's go over to the kitchen and you can hear some of the same stuff again, okay? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get you started on the tortilla pinwheels in your first little stage. That's the good thing about this recipe, I think, is you don't just have to stand here and do the whole thing at once. It does have stages, so like, while I'm doing this, I, I can be over here doing something else. So the first thing, it takes one four-ounce can of chopped black olives. They didn't have it, so they gave me a slice, and I had to take it because I needed them. And then... Four ounces of diced green chilies. You can use the hot if you want to. We, we just don't prefer that. Now, sometimes the green chilies are just too big. This is going to spread out over five tortillas, and there's going to be little pinwheels. You don't want these gigantic chunks hanging out. It doesn't look good, and it doesn't distribute, you know, the food throughout the tortillas. Also, you need to chop your black olives. I can't think what they were. Now, if you don't have one of these, which I had this, listen, my great aunt and uncle, my papa, we call him papa, his brother, when I got married my first time, they gave me this and my favorite knife. They're made by some certain company. I don't even know the name of it. And I have used this. You can see where I've bent down on it and bent it, holding it, working on some stuff. <laughs> This is one of the most invaluable tools I have found in my kitchen. If you if you find one, I'd say get it. Um, but I need the both of them drained really well. So I put them in my little mesh thing here and put it on my garbage bowl. And then I just came in with my chopper and just chopped around in there to get everything smaller. So if you don't have a chopper, after you get everything all well drained... Just put it out on a cutting board and just chop it with your knife. Either way, just get it to where it's a smaller consistency like this right here. 
I'm hoping you can see that in my angle. So what I'm going to do, I don't think I have garbage right yet. Let me set this aside. Oh, and I did use a spatula to push some of that liquid out. So it won't hurt, obviously, putting it in here. Now, what I have in my mixer is 8-ounce uh, cream cheese. I'm using the fat-free because it's blended in with sour cream and other stuff and I don't think it's going to be a texture problem and it does not have to melt or cook or anything like that so that's why I'm choosing this to keep the points down you can use whatever kind um, of cream cheese that you prefer I've already put it in my mixer and beat it smooth first I do this if I'm using like regular cream cheese and I didn't get it out to thaw uh, not thaw but to um come up to room temperature long enough and I really need to get going on my recipe I'll always just put it in the mixer and beat it until it is smooth so that's what I did here um, it didn't hardly have to sit out at all because it, its texture is a lot softer to the eight ounces of cream cheese we just need one cup of sour cream and I'm using the Great Value Light Sour Cream. You can use whichever sour cream you want. Again, I'm lightening this up for WW. Never have I lightened it up before. <laughs> it was the full fat cream cheese, the full fat sour cream, the full fat cheese, you know, the, the regular tortillas. So we're making this Weight Watcher friendly. And if I can get as many pieces out of each tortilla as I want, I think there'll be one point a piece. I think. They probably aren't that much. It's probably Weight Watcher math rounding them. But at any rate, it's a one-point appetizer. Now, these are my brother's favorite thing. And I think I made these, if I am not mistaken, back when we still lived in the trailer before we bought Mama's house. See, what had happened, she was over here in this house all by herself. Too big for her. We were in a two-bedroom mobile home with two kids, too small for us. So, we just switched. She took over our mobile home, and we bought the house from her. So, I think I had these at a um, party when we were still over there, and that was in the 90s. And it was my brother's favorite. So, I hate that it's not actually Christmas right now that I'm making these. So, what I'm probably going to do is wrap them up. Otherwise, I'll eat them all. I think I'm going to wrap them up and just take them to his house. So let me switch you off just a minute and whirl this together. See how smooth it come out? It's all blended together. So what we want is garlic powder to taste, and I've never measured. So I have this little quarter cup, quarter teaspoon to kind of get a measure on it for you. Because, you know, I'm just one of these kind of sprinkle and go chicks. And it does need just a little bit of salt in there. Now, I could stir that in. I didn't mean to get it on my spatula there. But I'm going to try to blend it in to get it smoothed out better so when I taste it. Oops, there was my ice maker. Y'all, I've got my um, refrigerator back, my freezer back. It's starting to make ice. I took some out and tested it. And um, I probably already told you that before you start watching me cooking so just never mind I like to whirl it around in here so when I taste test it I won't have gotten a clump somewhere so hold on again and you know scrape it down as you go when you're first blending it let me get a little okay you can use at least one more I can't taste that. I can smell it a little bit. When you do that, use different fingers. That way you're not licking one finger and putting it back on there. 
do it with one finger and then do it with another finger and another finger. Hmm. I think it can use one more, but this has to sit overnight, so I'm thinking that flavor might come up a little bit more, so I won't overpower it. And no more salt than what I put in. That, that was plenty. So remove your bowl if you don't have troubles like me. Oh, I have to make a mess. Okay, now the next things we are just going to stir in. Let me step this back. We have our, I didn't bring out the bag. You've seen our bag enough. The great value reduced fat. Well, I don't have the bag. I threw it away. Matter of fact, um, when the refrigerator started going, I have different, plenty of cheeses in my refrigerator. So I took all of it out and put it in these little half cut portions and stuck it in the freezer. So I have two of the reduced fat Fiesta. So this is one cup of shredded cheddar cheese of your choice. But you know the Fiesta blend is our Thrifty Thursday cheese of choice. So the cheese then our drained green chilies and olives. And then finally, just one half cup of green onion. And that turned out to be one um, bunch. The, the, you know, your typical size bunch. So I did like to measure it though because too much... This is a, a set amount of creamed um, ingredients, and so you don't want to like put so much in there that it's not still spreadable, that it's real, um, well, it's chunky, but you know what I'm trying to say? You still want enough creaminess to it that it spreads and not just kind of blobs on your tortilla. So there, that is how the filling looks right there. That's exactly how the filling is supposed to look. Now let me move this aside and we will roll them up. Okay, what I did was I put it in the bowl to get the measurement, the weight of the spread. It was 25.7. I was messing down here and I <laughs> zeroed it all out. So now all I have is the weight of the bowl and the ingredients. But I don't have to change bowls because I had saw the amount of it before. So with the bowl, it was 50.75 and there's 25.7 worth of um, spread. It came out as 5.14. I just did 5.1 rounding down. And so from the bowl, a total amount each time I take 5.1, then I should get down to that right there, and that should give me nice, even um, roll-ups. So, this is what I'm using. The Extreme Wellness High Fiber Carb Lean, it says. These are a little, they're, they're still flimsy because that's just how they're made. Um, but they're not as flimsy as some of the, like, that La Banderita, whatever. Well, it's a one-point carb uh, tortilla also, but it's just a little thinner, so it doesn't, I think this has got more body to it than some of the other ones, so if you can find um, the Olay, I would, I would recommend getting them. So, let me, each one of these is going to roll out on a big piece of plastic wrap. If you had never got these um, stretched tight with this little <laughs> zippy thing right here. It is off the hook. I think I got them at maybe BJ's. I don't even remember now. They come up two to a pack and they last forever. But you know how you fight with cling wrap? Those work good. So let's just pull one over here. Let me get my 
weight going. I won't make you watch me roll all of them. See, 50.75. This is a good scale. Weigh the same. So now I just need to scoop out until I get to 45.65. And now this is looser than the thicker cream cheese. So I'm hoping. Now see that kind of has a. Looks like it kind of had a. Maybe it's just my vision. It's my vision. <laughs> This looks like we're going to get more than five. I could be wrong. This is going to be, let me see. Let me get an eyeball for it. Because this, with that cream cheese being a, a looser cream cheese, I don't want it to be too full. 45.5. I think that I think five point one will do. If I don't try to get it close, I'll be so far off by the time we get to the last one. Um, that's why I'm being I'm never this meticulous, and y'all know I'm not. But if I don't, when I get to the last one, there won't hardly be nothing <laughs> left to go on. And if I don't try to keep it close, so okay, I'm gonna stop at forty five point sixty. Don't go all the way to the end because you'll just have a terrible mess if you do. And then just roll it any direction you want. Get a good little little tight seal on it. Now don't squish it when you roll it because you can see it's already rolling out. We might have a little bit too much to the truth. I think we do. We might get more. I don't know. Maybe these tortillas are as big as the old ones I used to use. Because I used to use five tortillas. Um, now the part that it's going to help it together, and you see we're going to lose some at the end, because I just I just take that as a loss, because um, they won't sit up pretty. So besides not letting it squeeze out, you're not going to be using these ends anyway. If you do, that's what we call the cook's treat. It's never seen. You get to eat it as the cook. <laughs> so just give it a good, firm roll in the plastic. Yeah, I think these are definitely smaller. So we might get more than we um, anticipated. I'll have to redo my math. Um, I'm going to cut y'all because I am not forcing you to watch me roll up tortillas. Just twist the little ends like that so it stays, you know. And then this right here will sit in the refrigerator for several hours or overnight. I think they test best overnight. Plus, you're not rushed. You can cut these the day of your party. That's all you have to do. Cut them, put them on a serving tray, put out some salsa. Done. So, let me do my math and finish rolling, and I'll be back. Okay, so here I got them all rolled up. I'll put them in my favorite little dish I like to put stuff in. I use this for everything. Bread and stuff. Marinating, setting marinating stuff in the bag down in it. Thawing stuff in on the counter. So it's just a good little. So I'm going to stick this in the fridge overnight. So the next time you see me, it will be tomorrow. Okay. Here we have our tray of our tortilla pinwheels with our little salsa in the middle. Now these are the ones, these are all the ends. I saved all the ends for David. He'll eat those right up. And there you have it. Come out to 54 of them. Nine each. One point a piece. And I think it's a, uh, I checked up to five. So I think probably all the way through is, is a actual one point a piece um, appetizer. The cream cheese, I've already tasted it. 
tastes a lot better in there than I was even expecting since it was the fat free and it does have its own little distinct flavor. It's really good in here. The green onions and the garlic powder, they give it good flavor. So if you need something easy, you saw how easy it was, something low point, then give these tortilla pinwheels a try. I think you'll like them. David's out in the garage working on something, so he'll be excited to come in and see a tray of this, because when I told him yesterday I was making them, he was like, oh boy, he got real excited, because he don't get nothing like this just in the middle of the week, you know, so he's excited about that, and I hope you enjoyed today's Thrifty Thursday, give you a little something different, so we'll do another one next week, I think, I don't know when Christmas is, I'll have to see when Christmas is, because if it's too close, we might bypass the week, we'll have to see. Okay, bye y'all.